Hey everyone, my name is Bez and welcome to your fourth flowchart tutorial. Now in the previous couple of tutorials, I had talked about different operations that can be done on variables but I had never told you what really is a variable. So a variable is something which can have varying data. So in this example, look I have two variables, variable A and B. Now it means that I can store suppose just take the variable a then i can store 7 in a then after some time i can store 8 in a or i can store 20000 in a so it doesn't matter right because as a is a variable so its value is not fixed it will be changing changing according to whom according to me because i'm the programmer i'm the one who's drawing the flowchart so variable is something which will have a varying data so that's it it will store it's actually a placeholder for data so that's what the variable is so now let's just get into the condition boxes that is the topic for today in this video so just check this example I start the flowchart I set the two values to zero initially and then I input the two data from the user to A and B and then I use the condition box why I do that to check whether a is greater than b or b is greater than a so i check is a greater than b if the condition satisfies then i will display a is larger and if the condition won't satisfy then i will display b is larger so that's it any decision box or any condition box this has two hands one hand yes another no yes means the condition that is specified within the box is satisfied if it's satisfied it will go to the yes hand if it's not then it will go to the no hand and this is what happens here if the condition satisfies then a is greater than b then i'll display a is bigger and if the condition won't satisfy then i'll display b is larger and then after this what i do i need to stop now look in whichever hand i go depending on the condition i need to stop after that right but any flowchart can have only one start and one stop it can't have multiple so what i have to do is i need to take one arrow from here another from here join them here and then from that i need to stop using another arrow so you can't have one stop here another stop here you can't do that right that's against the rules of flowchart so this is the simple example of a decision box now I have another now in the previous video I had shown you the division now just check this out now suppose there are two numbers right the A and B where the user inputs the data now suppose the user enters 9 at in A and 2 in B so the result would be what result would be 4 which is stored in C and then I display C now suppose the user entered 2 in A and 9 in B but he wants to display 4 right because he wants always the larger number to be divided by the smaller number that's what his requirements are so what we need to do here after inputting the data A and B so now I have the data in A I have some data in B I have some other data so now I check which one is greater if A is greater than B then I follow the yes hand and I do C stores A by B so whatever is the value of A by B will be stored in C but if A is not greater than B then what I do I follow this hand and I store B by A in C which means divide B by the value of A and store the result in C and at last I again connect those two using two arrows and I display C and finally I stop so using the decision box you can modify those simple division problems into this you can also modify the modulus if you want so that's it guys that's the concept of decision box in the next video I would be talking about some more problems and also in the coming videos I'll be doing the same because 
as of right now you know all the notations that you need to know about flowcharts so i hope that's it that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and talk to you guys in the next one